Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. Today is Friday. It is the 18th day of December. It's National Twin Day. It's also National Roast Suckling Pig Day. <laughs> okay. All right. Answer the telephone like Buddy the Elf Day, which we're going to talk about later. National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day, and it's Underdog Day. I'm a huge fan of that, by the way. I've always been a big fan of the underdog. Like the cartoon? No, I just mean the underdog. Just so, the yeah, like person the sm- small, that everybody kind of counts yeah. out. Well, I'm a big fan of small business owners because I see people who work their tail off. Yeah. And you got these giant multi-million dollar big companies. That's one of the reasons we've been so excited to be a part of the gift card challenge, giftcardchallenge.org. That's definitely an underdog thing. So today would be an awesome day to, to do something you know, for the underdogs out there. And I've got a guest, by the way. We'll be visiting with Jason Butler Harner. We know him from the TV show Ozark. He was the ah. FBI agent on there. He's got a new show on Fox TV. It's called Next. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Having trouble finding that perfect gift for somebody this holiday season, Heidi? Yes. The answer might lie in your kitchen. A new survey found the overwhelming majority of us, 73%, would rather receive a gift of food over any other type of object this year. So baking somebody cookies, making them a a special meal of some sort, 73% said, that's what I want this year. Um, And a lot of folks like gift cards as well. That's another great uh, thing. Yeah, gift cards are always a good choice. org. Just reminding you. Um, There's a good chance... Of a gift under your Christmas tree that might be re-gifted. 26% of respondents say they have re-gifted an item once in their lifetime. 33% of women said they've done it. 19% of men said they've given a second-hand present. Have you ever re-gifted anything, Heidi? I have. Yeah, I know you have. You've given things to me that I'm like, hey, why does it say to mom on here? (laughs) It doesn't really. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by timeforrehab.com. A call about a vehicle dragging a gas pump hose behind it. Heidi did that once. (laughs) Led Northern Michigan to a meth discovery. State police there. I did uh, not do that. No, they they responded at 10.20 p.m. Friday, December the 4th, to a report of a vehicle dragging a gas pump handle and hose. <laughs> a trooper made a traffic stop, soon discovered meth on both the driver and a passenger in the vehicle. Passenger was also in possession of meth. Uh, upon making the stop, they asked the driver, 42-year-old, uh, it just says where he's from, if he forgot anything at the gas station. The driver told the police, I don't think so. And they said, well, okay, well... Uh, you got the gas pump dragging behind you here, the, the <laughs> that, hose. Not the whole pump, thank God. That's easy to do, yeah. by the way. <laughs> oh, sure it is. <laughs> they gave him a sobriety test and placed him under arrest. They found <laughs> meth on the driver and the pastor, both taken to the county jail. So that is what happens when your brain is on drugs <laughs> or is just Heidi. <laughs> Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Redbox has a holiday-themed customer survey they put out, and uh, it's called, "What is?" first one is, what is your favorite classic holiday movie? And uh, I think they've got five on the list. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation was the number one. Uh, the number two was It's a Wonderful Life, then A Christmas Story, then Home Alone, then Charlie Brown Christmas. Okay. So those are the five. What is your and favorite? My favorite isn't even on there. What is your favorite? The ref. Yeah, I suppose that probably wouldn't be on there though. 
Uh, and then uh, the next one, what is your favorite holiday tradition around the holidays? Buy presents, listen to holiday music, cook holiday meals, put up holiday decorations, and the number one answer, watch holiday movies. Yeah. But I suppose, you know, since you're doing the survey for... <laughs> holiday movies, that's for, going to be... Red yeah. Box. And then what's your favorite recent holiday movie made since 2000? Oh. Bad Santa's number five. Number four, really? Love Actually. Number three, Dr. Seuss's Grinch. Then the Polar Express. What do you think the number one since 2000 would be? I have no idea. Buddy the Elf. Oh, Elf. Yeah. Elf. Now, that's the only one on the whole list I that think I agree with. So. Thanks for listening to Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Now your scoop of the day, and it comes your way courtesy of GiftCardChallenge.org. It is research well worth raising a glass to. It says beer can be good for our health. Scientists discovered that some beer bursting with probiotic microbes, bacteria, and yeast credited with a host of benefits from combating obesity to getting a better night's sleep, including Belgian beers. So there's one called Ho Gardener, West Mall, Trippel, Ecken. Kreiben biker Morgen, <laughs> Morgenstein. What was that? Sneaking, sneaking. I might have got some of that wrong. You think um, so? They say that they are rich in probiotic yeast. <laughs> unlike, <laughs> unlike most beers, these are fermented oh, twice geez. once in the brewery and once again in the bottle. So they actually ferment in the bottle as well. So if you want to read that list, I do have it in the show notes. <laughs> Coffee that tastes a bit off might taste a bit better if you pour into a mug of a different color. A barista noted customers complaining about the bitterness of coffee when drinking out of a white mug. However, when the customer drank the same coffee out of a clear cup, they didn't complain. This gave the barista an idea for a new study. Researchers experimented with clear and white and blue containers of the exact same coffee type. They asked participants to analyze the taste of the coffee, and it resulted, it was pretty conclusive, your brain definitely associates color with flavor. The study found that drinking from a white container tastes significantly more intense or less sweet than coffee from a blue container or a clear container. Really? That doesn't make any sense to me. You would think coffee tastes like coffee, but they're saying the white, the clear, the blue, yeah. And it seems nobody misses sitting in the dark in a jumbo popcorn more than Wisconsinites. A new study found that residents of the Badger State miss movie theaters more than anybody else during the COVID-19 pandemic, which had the shutdown on a lot of theaters around the country. Go Hastings, which is a tech website, specializes in compiling maps about different trends in entertainment, streaming services, and more. They comb through Twitter tracking tweets and keyword phrases like, I miss movie theaters and I miss going to the movies. More than 200,000 tweets. They geotagged each tweet using Twitter data, and they mapped a, a big map showing all of the places. The number one state that misses movies the most was number uh, number one was Wisconsin, followed by number two, Utah, and number three, Oregon. So there you go. Those are the folks that are missing, going to the movies the most. And one last story here. If you need to buy a gift for kids and your family, or if you want to splurge on yourself, they say it is hard to go wrong with Lego. Apparently, the plastic bricks are more popular than ever. So popular, in fact, you might actually have trouble finding Legos. So the Lego store is helping customers get the models they need in time for the holidays through their website. And they notify you also if you have a specific kit that you're looking for and it's sold out, they can notify you that, hey, that one's in now. That's kind of cool. Do you like Legos? Would you want any Legos? I liked them a whole lot more before they started taking law enforcement um, things out of the packaging. So So, no Legos for Heidi. No. There you go. Well, this has been your scoop of the day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. 
But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with Jason Butler Harner. And we had a chance to really kind of fall in love with this guy in a program called Ozark on Netflix. He's got a new program out now called Next. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? I am fantastic. Now, let's talk a little bit about the series Next on Fox. Sure. It's about a pair of brothers, John Slattery and myself. They invent this thing called Next, which is an artificial intelligence, an AI. It's just like an assistant, a programmer to help make your life easier. It turns out that the AI gets smarter faster than they had anticipated. In so doing, the AI realizes that humans are expendable. And so then it's out and it wants to do something bad which to humans, which we're going to discover really soon what that is. And then this team of FBI coders and us are chasing after to try to shut it down before it achieves its goals. And the scary thing is, I you know, I understand this isn't based on a true story, but every time I hear stories like this, I think, boy, what if that does happen? Yeah, in all honesty, all the technology for the show, listen, at this point we've seen some robot dogs and some other things, but all the technology and the way it all communicates with each other is accurate and happening right now. They did some rewriting while we were shooting this. We finished filming this in March of last year. And even since then, since we've all been home in our houses, you know, really relying on our computers and phones, we've discovered other things that it's learning about us, including probably what we talked about in our favorite ice cream and things like that. But it is scary. Like, how much are we depending on our devices to tell us how to drive to a place? All of the things that we do, especially if you're a young family, to make life easier so you don't have to do as much on your own, writing down pieces of (laughs) notes on pads of paper. It's all on our phones now, and someone's keeping track of it. Isn't that crazy? I actually read a story about a a person who drove their car into a lake because their directions on their phone told them to. And I was like, are you kidding me? I follow directions too, but not into a lake. Yeah, that's the new thing. Like when, when I was a kid, your parents would say, if Jimmy jumped off of a bridge, would you do it? (laughs) <laughs> now, it's, now it's if your computer told you to jump off of a bridge, would you do it? Well, the, the program is called Next. It's on Fox TV. When can we watch this on Fox? It's on Tuesday night at 9 o'clock, or you can see it on Hulu also. Oh, very nice. Now, before I let you go, i got to talk to you about Ozark. That's a show that I had several people recommend that, and we started watching it, and we, we, got, we got sucked in, and oh my goodness, what a program that is. Yeah, that was a great show. They're finishing uh, the fourth, well, they're about to start, finish the last season right now we shoot that down in atlanta it was great what a messed up angry guy i got to play he was trying to take down a drug cartel but then not doing very well well and your character was a really interesting spoiler alert he's dead (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's for those of you that haven't caught that. No, but the, the cool thing is your character uh, on that program, Agent Roy Petty, is a very complicated character because he's an authority figure, but he's not always doing the right thing, is he? No, I mean, he's, listen, the way I, he was a twisted guy, but the way I approach it is he's this FBI guy. There's a ton of bureaucracy there, and he, ultimately what he's trying to do is trace, take, take down this cartel this drug cartel, partially, he's, you'd learn in the series, he's fueled by the fact that his mom got addicted to opioids when she had a back problem, right? This happens in America all the time. Yeah. Um, so he's fueled by the fact that his mom was in pain, being tough, not taking any drug, and then he said, come on, you're in pain, I can't take it, you should take something for the pain, and then she got hooked. So he sort of blames himself um, that she could have gotten hooked on drugs, and then she's well, you see her in a bad way in the second season. Mm. And he's, his desire is to take down the cartel fueled by that, and then he can't get it together because Marty Bird and Wendy Bird, the Bird family, are so crafty, and there's also various drug cartels and all over the country and the world who are smarter than he is um, at getting things done. And then also running into problems with you know, getting th- doing things by the book with the FBI. So he takes things into his own hand, and that's when he really messes up, falls in love with the guy. Well, I got to tell you, you did a great job playing the guy, and, and you made that character, even though he wasn't supposed to be a character you like, you still you kind of like the guy because he's trying to do the right thing. He just, you know, keeps doing the wrong thing. But good job on, on making a bad character good. Thank you. Thank you. Here's a skill that you never knew I was going to need when I was in acting school. How do you keep your <laughs> eye open in a river while being drugged down a river? It's very hard. I'll bet it is. <laughs> well, thank you for taking the time to chat today, sir. Thank you so
so much. The new series is called Next. It's on Fox Tuesday nights, 9, 8 central. I'll throw a link to all the info in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Starbucks festive-themed hot drinks have the same amount of sugar as three cans of Coca-Cola. Okay. Yeah, so they're saying, hey, if you like that stuff, just don't expect for it Yikes. to be, you know, a big health kick. It's not for healthy. You. Yeah. No, apparently not. So if you're trying to, you know, watch the waistline, they're saying maybe that's not the best choice. <laughs> now you know. Good to know. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline Israel. This is really an interesting story. Israel's former space security chief. So you know what that is? Like a person that's really in charge of a lot of stuff. In charge of space, space security. Okay. Former chief of space security says, mankind has made contact with the Galactic Federation of Aliens, but they're refraining from announcing it to the world because humanity is not ready. This might be why he's the former space security chief. So... I don't know what to believe in this thing. There are people online saying, yeah, if we did know this, we wouldn't share it with the world because we're not ready for it. So now there are people saying this is the proof we needed to know that they're keeping this from us. But there's others going, Maybe this, this guy's just a wacko, dude. This is why the guy's not there anymore because he went crazy. So I don't know what to think other than very interesting. It is a news headline from somewhere in this world. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. By the way, they've got their countdown to Christmas going strong. Do you get those? Do you see it online? I follow it on Facebook. So I see WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Oh. So I see them every day. They got some really weird ones leading up to Christmas. So Um, a hunter tracking a deer in the Czech Republic was surprised when the buck circled back and stole his gun. (laughs) Kind of. (laughs) She have been pointing that well, gun. The, it didn't have any ammo in it, thank goodness. But the the hunter had it slung over his arm, and he slipped, and the deer hooked it on his antlers and took off. So he literally oh, stole. Funny, which is funny because police got another call a mile away about a man who said, "I just saw a deer run by with a rifle." <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine being that other hunter? Yeah. Like, did, did that go, did that deer have a gun? <laughs> Police are asking the public to call them if they spot an armed deer, or oh, if they just find an abandoned funny. rifle. So uh, very funny. That's in the Czech Republic, by the way. So you know, for those of you planning on going out looking for it, it's a little ways away. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. According to police, a man walking into a Neiman Marcus store in Atlanta accidentally set off his gun while he was adjusting his pants. The gunshot rang out throughout the Lenox Square Mall at about 6 p.m. Witnesses initially told police that there may have been a dispute between two people, but officers confirmed there was no dispute. Instead, an armed man who had, again, it was an accidental discharge while adjusting his pants, um, says, we urge gun owners to be responsible. We would recommend you leave your firearms at home while they're out shopping in public areas. But uh, anyway, they say the, the, there was no 
no dispute. Intent yeah, or, yeah, it was yeah, literally just an, accident. an accidental discharge. So the people who were freaking out saying some major thing went down. No, it was an accident. But yeah, you don't do that. So be very, very careful. And if you're a gun owner, be a responsible gun owner. This is today's Moment of Da. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. At this point in the program, I read a little headline and my beautiful bride Heidi has to tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Um... (laughs) Fake news or Florida? I should read these ahead of time. <laughs> Fake news or Florida? A man was busted for abusing 911 after he called to report a dancer who refused to give him, quote, boom, boom. Fake news or Florida? Florida. <laughs> No, it's a no? it's a fake news story. Oh. And if I would have read it through all the way, I would not have actually read it. <laughs> I didn't. I was thinking that we read the story no, that, that no, he had hired a woman. and Apparently, no, didn't. I don't. I'd, maybe there was something else. I have no clue. If that happened, it's just a mere coincidence. By the way, if you'd like to submit a fake news or Florida story, you can do that. Please be nicer than the guy that did this one. Uh, you can submit it at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of giftcardchallenge.org, which, by the way, is your opportunity to spread some good news of your own and and make other people happy. Again, all the details at giftcardchallenge.org. Here's the headline. He wants me to tell you he loves you. Secret Santa pays off $65,000 in layaways at a Walmart. I love it when people do that. Yeah, this happened in Tennessee. An anonymous donor paid off nearly uh, $65,000, $64,995.51. That's the amount. It says, I got a notification on my email that my layaway had been paid for, said one shopper. And I thought, well, that's kind of weird. He was informed by management that an anonymous donor had covered his layaway fees. Uh, She said, yeah, somebody came in this morning at 6 and paid everybody's layaways. But he wants me to tell you that he loves you, God bless you, and Merry Christmas. That's really cool. I love that. Love Uh, it, love it, love it. According to the management at the Walmart, the anonymous donor wanted to be be a positive effect and, and have a positive effect on as many people as possible. So came in and said, what would it cost to just pay off all of the layaways? Every single person has got a layaway. And again, it was $65,000. Well, again, $64,995.51. But that's $65,000. Yeah. That's really, really cool. If you have the ability, that's just such... I can't even imagine how good that would feel. And and I guarantee you, there are some people who... You know, they this was going to be tough for them to get something. They put it on layaway. They're making their payments. Now, all of a sudden, it's it's this is like Santa Claus. Yeah, that's huge. And huge. if this person is in a position to do that, how good must they feel to know all of the families that they had a very positive yeah. impact on? And it doesn't say in here how many different families that is. I would have loved to have known because I'm sure... It's probably thousands yeah. of well, families. Yeah, you would Hundreds hope it wasn't for one. sure. <laughs> Hundred, yeah, one dude had, had a lot of stuff on my list. But I'm sure it's hundreds for sure. But uh, I've got a link to the story. It's in the show notes. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show.